Hey everybody, Jason here. So today I'm going to be doing a video review on the fourth generation iPod Touch from Apple. So upon first look, the things you're going to notice that are different about this iPod is the fact that it is now available in white as compared to only black. Um, there's a camera on the front and a 720p video recording camera and 960 by 720 still photo camera on the back. Um, so I'll do a little tour of the iPod itself. Same thing, you have your 3.5 millimeter headphone jack over here. You have your 30 pin connector and your speaker on the bottom right there. On the side, you have your volume buttons. You can't tell because of the case, but they're there. And on the top, you have your sleep and wake button. Um, so there's many new features with this new iPod as compared to the previous generation. This is the first iPod that has been re released with um, iOS 5 on it. So you have um, you have features like voice control and stuff like that. You have FaceTime, you have iMessage, you have your folders and your multitasking still. There's just a ton of new features on this thing. Um, and I believe this thing has it has a A4 chip in it. It has a retina display. Um, yeah, and that's multi-touch, of course. 960 by 640 um, resolution. Um, what else does it have? Uh, the audio or the battery life on this thing is about 40 hours for video or audio and seven for video. And um, yeah. So, anyways, uh, when you turn on the iPod, I mean, it doesn't. Nothing really looks different. Let it. My camera load a little bit. Okay, so nothing really looks different upon first look. You still have your folders and everything, um, but the newest features with this thing are iMessage, to where you can pretty much text your friends who have iOS 5 devices as well. Um, you have FaceTime where you can pretty much where you can video chat with them, um, and so there's this new feature that I like. It's called voice control. So hold your home button for about three seconds. Play songs by Prince. Playing songs by Prince. And just like that, your iPod will do as you tell it to. It's got a load. <laughs> okay. So anyways, as you see, that's my favorite feature on the new iPod is voice control. Um, but yeah, this thing, uh, I paid about $320 out the door, case, screen protector, and iPod. Um, so it's a really good deal. Um, there's the back. It's, yeah, sorry, I, you guys can't see like the back or whatever. I don't take my cover off anymore as I don't want to get scratched. Um, but yeah, this thing is a, uh, it's a definite improvement as compared to the third generation iPod touch um, gameplay seems to be more responsive uh, the fact that it records videos and takes pictures is pretty neat um, it plays video very well as compared to the other iPods I noticed a lot of lag and buffering this one's pretty seamless um, it'll load a video and it'll play the video completely through without any lag whatsoever so there's a definite upgrade to the video player itself. Um, there's not, Other than that, other than the iOS 5 software update, the iPod Touch really has, it's a basic update, but nothing really like super, super new. It's, it's thinner, it's lighter, it's faster, it's running new software. Um, but it's a definite buy for sure. Um, the white one looks way better in my opinion, I think, as compared to the black, since we've seen it for about five years now, six years, so, um, but yeah. So anyways, I figured I would do a quick video review on the new iPod Touch. Um, like I said, key features are the cameras, iMessage, FaceTime, um, faster gameplay, uh, better screen, stuff like that. So if you guys have any questions, um, feel free to ask in the comment section below and um, I'll do another video soon. Alright, well peace out guys. Hope you enjoyed it.